Thank you for joining me today. This material was an extract from my comprehensive bank training course, the Complete Alco Blueprint. Hello everybody, my name is Howard Lothrop. I'm here today uh, to uh, walk you through this extract. Today we're going to be speaking about the Alco Overview. We want to give you an overview of what this series is all about. There are really five items, five general topic areas that the overview boils down to. First, there's ALCO theory and the associated regulatory issues. You know, what drives ALCO? Where did current practices come from? What are the regulatory requirements that we deal with? Now, going beyond those uh, technical aspects, we're going to move into interest rate risk management itself. Interest rate risk management is, is where the, the rubber meets the road in, in ALCO. It's where we measure the actual interest rate risk within the bank. In order to do that, we need to talk about assumptions and testing. If your interest rate risk model is the engine in your car, the assumptions are the fuel that get you where you want to go. Assumptions make a huge difference in, in the outcome of your model. Uh, testing is what we do to make sure we've got the right assumptions and we're using them in the right way to help get the very best interest rate risk results possible. Next we'll take a look at internal control and model validation. You know, interest rate risk measurement in the ALCO process is like everything else in the bank. We really need to have a you know a good handle on the internal control here and, and control the entire process. And one of the ways we do that, one of the key ways we do it, is with model validation. Model validation speaks to the way we ensure that we have the absolute very best model possible uh, and, and we, uh, we control the quality of the inputs, the processing, and the outputs. And then finally, we're going to talk about reporting and limits. You know, one of the key requirements of your ALCO process is that we have board approved policies and limits. Uh, these can then, of course, be delegated down to uh, top management, and senior management can uh, apply this as they do with so many things in the bank. But it's a requirement that the actual results of the, the testing are reported back to the board along with a comparison of the board approved limits. We want to make sure we understand how to do this, uh, we want to make sure we understand the requirements and what to do if we approach or exceed those limits. Now at any time throughout this uh, series of uh, training extracts, if you have any questions, I want you to go to my website, go to echopartners.com slash ask 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 me any banking question you want I'll be glad to give you a personal reply and uh, again this is lesson one in a 19 part series and so if you'd like to see the entire series you want to make sure you don't miss anything again go to my website and sign up at echopartners.com slash lessons once again this is Howard Lothrop the complete Alco blueprint thank you and goodbye